Hey, welcome to another session of sums economics or tutorials and in today's our video i'm going to show you how to calculate the value of marginal propensity to consume that's a mpc and uh, to calculate the equilibrium national income and also calculate the marginal propensity to save and lastly to determine the value of the investment multiplier so uh, let's take this example here in a basic Keynesian uh, closed economy with consumption expenditure C equal to 500 plus 0.75Y and the investment expenditure I equal to 25 with no government intervention. So our, our focus is to, to determine the marginal propensity to consume, that's a MPC, and also calculate the equilibrium national income and also determine the marginal propensity to save as MPS and lastly determine the value of the multiplier so let's uh, start given that the consumption function C equal to 500 plus 0 0.75 Y and the uh, investment expenditure equal to 25 so the a part says that we should determine mpc so mpc known as marginal propensity to consume is the ability of a consumer to change his consumption as a result of changing income so and from here we are going to look at the slope of the consumption function okay let me define this variable so that you know how to get this marginal propensity to consume easily so 500 here represents so 500 here represents autonomous consumption consumption that does not depend on income and secondly as 0.75 here represents induced consumption that's consumption that depends on income so to get this uh, uh, value of MPC we, we will just copy this one induced, uh, induced consumption which is equal to 0 0.75 so for us to interpret the value of MPC this means that for, for every one uh, uh, increase in income of one dollar um, our marginal propensity to consume will increase by by 0 0.75 or this can be converted to a percentage we can now say for every increase of one US dollar in our income consumption will increase by 75 percent so that's how we interpret the value of mpc thus for every increase in for every one uh, us dollar increase in income our marginal propensity to consume will increase by 0 0.75 or 75 percent of that uh, one us dollar so that's it for the a part so b B says that B says that we should calculate the equilibrium national income. To calculate the equilibrium national income in this sector of economy, we will have y equal to c plus i. C plus i. So i represents the income. So we are going to have y to be equal to. We now put the consumption function. In the place of C so we are going to have 500 500 plus 0 0.75 Y plus 25 25 here represents our investment uh, expenditure so we are going to have um, this uh, equation so to we collect like them together such as to look for the value of 
uh, equilibrium national income so we are going to have y minus we will not take this to the left hand side which will become a negative we have negative 0.75 y to be equal to 500 plus 25 so we are going to have y or uh, remember that the coefficient of y here is 1 so we are going to have 1 minus 0 0.75 so our answer will be 0 0.25 y to be equal to 5 25 be equal to 525 so to get the value of y we divide both sides by 0 0.25 0 0.25 so this gives a value of value of y to be 2100 that's a value of y that's our equilibrium national income so the other one that we should determine the marginal propensity to save that's our MPS MPS we know that uh, MPC plus MPS is equal to 1 so to get uh, now MPS we are not going to take 1 minus M plus MPS equal to 1 minus MPC so which is equal to 1 minus 0 0.75 so our MPS is equal to is equal to 0 0.25 that's that's a value for MPS so the D part is that we should determine a multiplier is that we should determine our multiplier remember that multiplier k multiplier k is equal to 1 over 1 minus m e c or 1 over m e s is the same thing so let's substitute our value of m p c and also do another one for m p s and interpret the results and interpret the results so k equal to 1 over 1 minus a value of mpc is 0 0.75 so we are going to have when we take 1 minus 0 0.75 we are going to have 0 0.25 so 1 divided by 0 0.25 it will give give us 4 okay let's use this one let's use this one as 1 over mpc or 1 over mps so it's the same thing we are going to have 1 over 0 0.25 to be equal to 4 that's the same thing so to interpret this uh, to interpret this value for the multiplier we to interpret this value of the multiplier we can say that 
for every increase for every one uh, dollar increase in investment uh, expenditure the income income will increase by four so we show that income y will increase by four so does it to interpret it.